Hello and welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited we're starting a brand new island on the channel. We just finished doing our island entrances series and while I had so much fun doing lots of different themes and practicing making lots of different island entrances, it has made me so incredibly ready to actually start dedicating all of my time to doing a finished island. It's been several months since I've released a dream address and typically I will only release one, maybe two every year so I really want to start working on releasing another one so that I can do that before the end of the year. So this island is called Foxtail and if you've guessed that I was going to return to a cottagecore style then you would definitely be correct. It is by far my favorite style to decorate in in Animal Crossing and I was so so excited to return to it after trying all of the other styles that we just tried. Hopefully that's not a little anticlimactic for you all. I don't know, it's just my favorite style and I just cannot separate with it. For this entrance, I wanted to do something a little bit different than I usually do. Typically my entrances are like a little bit more open than this, but I really wanted there to be an incline directly when you like pop onto the island from the airport. So I went ahead and terraformed this small little area here. And then I was super inspired by the cottage code that I used in my grandma core entrance. So I really wanted to use it again for the entrance to this island and make a cute little cottage. I feel like nothing screams cottage core than having a literal cottage at your entrance. So <laughs> that's what we're doing today. I want this island to have a ton of like cozy picnic areas, just like soft, cozy builds. I don't know. That screams cottage core to me, I guess. So Maggie, of course, had to come and hang out in this area. She is so, so cute. We don't have any like dreamies, I don't think, on the island so far, but I am kind of considering keeping Maggie just because she is so freaking cute. But I'm gonna go ahead and start making the actual cottage here. I did have to play around with it quite a bit to get like a design that I was really feeling. I started to try to use the storefront and then I have like three simple panels that I wanna use. So I found that that just didn't work very well. I feel like the spacing just looks a little bit off. So I do end up removing the storefront, but I kind of wanted to keep some of my trial and error into the video, just in case you guys are looking to recreate things on your own island. Maybe you'll like some of the versions that I didn't like. So I wanted to leave some of these edits in. I also really, really wanted to use that stove item because I think that the like smoke and steam that comes out of it just looks so freaking cute, but I couldn't find a way to incorporate it into this build in a way that I thought looked good. So I do end up removing it eventually, but I kind of like move it back and forth and I really try to find a spot where I think it looks good. There's something about the height of that item that I think just makes the whole cottage just sort of like look off, if you know what I mean. Also, if it was in like like a rusty brown color I think that would be a little bit better but I do ultimately end up just removing it and then I start laying down this brick pathing you'll also notice that I did time travel I think that this island is gonna be in like the middle of October I just love the way the trees look in this time of year where it's like half I don't know like brown but like some of them are still very green but the grass is also still very green still at this time of the year so I think it just looks really really beautiful and especially the hardwood trees like something about the different color variations just look so gorgeous to me so I think that's what we're going to stick with maybe we'll adjust things as we go but I did want to put some wind turbines into this build to give it a little bit of movement I think that looks really pretty and then there was something like unfinished kind of about the cottage so I went ahead and added in a storefront and then I'm just playing around with the spacing again and then I decide that I don't really like that so I just put it right back. I do think the storefront kind of adds some like depth to the building like it just makes it look a little bit more realistic but I didn't like the way the sides of it looked so I went ahead and put a barrel there to kind of cover it up a little bit. Once we add in the flowers, bushes, custom designs, and like the a little decor items, I feel like it blends in so much better. So you guys will have to let me know what you think in the comments below. But I do go ahead and put another wind turbine up on this cliff. I think they look so cute with two of them there and especially at different levels. And then I went ahead and blocked myself in, had to call rescue services, and dropped myself off at my house. I feel like that is the sign that you are like really decorating a build is when you have to call resident services to get you out of a sticky situation. So I did have to do that just that one time in this build. And then I popped right back up to the cottage to continue adding some cute little items. I'm not gonna lie, this actually was very, very difficult and I ended up like 
popping into different areas like on and off just trying things i ultimately had to take a little break and start working on this picnic area here i had completely forgotten about the piano bench as an item and i recently saw just like a random photo of animal crossing online where somebody had used this color variation and it reminded me that the item even existed and i thought it would be so freaking cute on this island so i had to be sure to use it i think the green color is just so Perfect. Green is my favorite color and any excuse to use green items always brings me a lot of joy But I really like how that little picnic area turned out. I think it looks super cute And then I'm adding a few more decor items around the cottage I think the end table looks really sweet because it has like the books on the lower level So I went ahead and put that there and then I customized that table lamp as well You'll see that I jump between the two areas all a lot in the speed build. That's because I was really, really struggling. I did start out using yellow hyacinth flowers as like my accent color as well. And I do end up switching them out for blue ones later. And I'm honestly so glad I did that because the blue flowers on the cottage kind of like accent the blue hyacinths. And I think they just look so soft and so pretty. I did recently do a lilac themed island, so I did kind of worry that I was being a little bit too repetitive with using hyacinths all over, but I kind of don't want the entire island to have the same accent color. I think I want to kind of change it as we continue decorating this island. So I'm going to have to try to figure out a way to like easily transition between the different colors, but I don't think I want to go so specific with the color theme like I did in my previous island. And then I did make this little um, like clothing area, which I think looks super, super cute. And yeah, just a lot of like early cottage core references here. I really wanted to use the flower beds, but I was so disappointed that you can't push them together to like like take away that little gapping. I even tried it in the center and I don't think that that's too bad, but there was just something about it that I found to be a little bit awkward. So I ended up giving up on that area for now and then working on the actual entrance. So for this area, I struggled as well. I honestly don't think that I've struggled with an island entrance quite as much as I did this one. I don't know if I was overthinking it or if the space was just feeling kind of awkward. I'm not really sure. As I was doing the island entrance series, I feel like all of those builds came together pretty organically because I wasn't really worried about keeping them on the island for any length of time. So it sort of felt like it didn't matter if it turned out perfect or not. And there's something I guess that I should have learned from that is that I am a horrible overthinker and sometimes that actually keeps me from having as much fun playing the game. So I really need to tap into that same energy and kind of like remind myself to not overthink the builds quite so much it is literally a game after all but i went ahead and added in this little picnic bench or public bench and i really wanted to include the phone box as well i feel like this is very much a nod to my very early decorating from like two years ago and there's something so nostalgic and like special about it if you have been following me since i finished my very first um fox themed island which was fox grove you'll kind of remember maybe the entrance to that and how i use the public bench and the phone box I feel like it's a pretty similar setup actually especially with the incline so made me feel very very nostalgic but the style is definitely very different I also remember that we have the stroller and that there's a little bear inside of it and I definitely wanted to incorporate it at the entrance with the bear kind of visible because I can't think of anything that screams cottage core quite like little bears do so I thought that that was a very cute little touch you'll also see me placing a completely blank custom design throughout this build as well that one is one that I just made so that my flowers wouldn't get like overgrown and crazy. I highly recommend doing that because I absolutely hate having to dig up flowers where I didn't want to plant them. And as you're decorating the island over the course of several months, I feel like you can get pretty overgrown pretty quickly. And while that can be a vibe, I kind of don't like when things go in places that I didn't want them to. So I'm finding that I'm really liking the blank custom design, but that does take us to the end of this build. I really hope that you enjoyed this super chatty first look at Foxtail. I'm very excited to continue decorating this island. Let me know what ideas you have or what future builds you'd like to see on Foxtail. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you very soon in the next one. Bye!